Hello friends, now I am here with different or special types of problems in the chapter probability and I assure you that in the next two or three lectures you are going to learn the easiest possible solution of these kinds of problem. Uh, such problems involve gaming. Which type of gaming? A game of tossing a die, tossing a coin or say cutting a card from a pack of card or a, that kind of any other possible game. The, there are two or more players. They play the game alternatively in succession and the game is continued until one of the players wins the game. That means the game can be continued indefinitely till at least one player wins the game. Since the game could be continued indefinitely, at the time of calculation there will be summation of infinite geometric series. How? That we are going to discuss now. Let us take a problem. It is A and B. These are two names of two players. A and B toss an ordinary or cubical die alternatively in succession. The winner is one who throws an ace or number one. First, if A is the first to throw, that means A starts the game. Calculate their respective probabilities of winning the game. Now the situation is clear. What is the game to toss a cubical or ordinary die? What is the definition of success to get an ace or number one on the upper side of the die? What is the probability of getting one on a normal cubical die? It is one by six because total possible outcomes are six, one or two or three or four or six. And favorable case is only one because getting one on the upper side is the definition of success. Uh, the opposite factor is not to get one that means failure what is the probability of failure success and failure are always mutually exclusive and exhaustive events so it will be one minus probability of success one by six so probability of failure comes to five by six we use sign s for success that's the probability of success and f for probability of failure and number of players are two which we are going to uh, indicate as x now, what exactly happens? A cubical die is there, A and B have taken seat opposite to each other. A starts the game, that means A tosses a die, gets one and wins, that is first probability. Or A tosses a die, A fails and B tosses the die and wins. No. Or A starts the game, A fails. Now B is turn, B fails, now again A is turn, A wins the game. If not, or A starts the game, A fails, B, B fails, and A fails, and B wins the game. In this way, the game will be continued until one of A or B wins the game. That means alternatively in succession indefinitely. Now, if we consider all these problems, success or failure and success or failure and failure and success or failure, failure, failure and success, then it is the case of summation because or will be summation and end will be multiplication. S <coughs> plus F into S plus F into F into S plus f into f into f into s and so on. So, to sum up the entire thing, we can say that the probability of first player that is A here winning the game is always because of the summation of infinite geometric series it will be 
probability of success s into 1 upon 1 minus f raise to x that means probability of success into 1 upon 1 minus probability of failure raise to number of players let us solve this 1 by 6 into 1 upon 1 minus 5 by 6 raise to 2 because there are only 2 players so 1 by 6 into 1 minus or 1 upon 1 minus 25 by 36 that will be 1 upon 6 into 1 upon 1 minus 25 by 36 will be 36 into 1 36 minus 25 11 by 36 and it will be ultimately 1 by 6 into 36 by 11 so ultimately the probability of a or the whatever the name of first player so commonly it is probability of the first player who starts the game wins the game is 6 by 11 now any of the two players is going to win the game so it is the case of again mutually exclusive and exhaustive events so we can now say that probability of uh, winning the game by the second player if there are only two players is 1 minus 6 by 11 5 by 11 but we are going to solve it probability of second or b winning the game second player or b winning the game in case of the second player first of all what happens the first player fails then only the first trial of second players is there and now consider the second player as the first player because first has already failed so we can also assume that now second player or b starts the game again so the same formula will be there so we can say that it is failure into probability of first player because this is the formula for the first player and we have already solved it so 5 by 6 into 6 by 11 so it comes to 5 by 11 and see the summation of these two probabilities is one because they are mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases in this way we can solve this kind of problems for any number of players just it is very 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 important to understand this type of data from the problem given to you that's it thank you very much